Hey guys, what's going on? This is Joshua Williams. Fandoms, they're practically everywhere on the internet. Whether it's for a TV show, a movie, a game, a subculture, etc, etc, etc. There's fandoms for almost everything. It's usually a group of people who all have a huge interest or love for something. Me being in a couple of fandoms myself, one being kind of obvious, I have a few opinions on them that are both positive and negative. To me, fandoms are a good way to be able to connect with people who have the same interests as you do. It's also a good way to meet with new people and to potentially make some new friends, and I think that's pretty cool. Now, granted, most of the people you'll meet will most likely be on the internet, but you also have a lot of opportunities to meet these people in person, such as at a school club, a meetup, or a convention. I think in some cases, fandoms make people feel as though they belong. Like for instance, the Brony fan. Obviously, the idea of a teenage male liking a show or obsessing over a show meant for little girls is weird. It kind of makes you feel a little awkward because you know it's kind of weird. But because there's a fandom full of people out there that are exactly like you, then you kind of begin to feel less awkward and less ashamed of yourself for loving that show. Not only that, but you also have a community of people that will usually be more than happy to discuss their favorite things about the show with you. And you can both relate. It's usually a nice way to bring people together, especially when you go to conventions. Now, I recently went to the Anime Expo, and as you all know, the anime fandom is pretty big. It was pretty cool to just see how dedicated a lot of people were to a certain type of anime or just the entire genre in general. Just the amount of cosplay that you see over there is incredible. You can see that people put in a lot of effort, time, and work just to bring their cosplay to life. At conventions like these, people just come to have a good time. Yes, it can be expensive, but it's still a lot of fun. I think one of the biggest things I love about certain fandoms are just the amount of creativity that comes out from them. There are tons of people who make amazing fan art, music, and animation inspired by what they love. Not only is that a good way to show people how much you love a show or a game or whatever, but it's also a good way to showcase your art and to show people how creative you can be. Without a doubt, I think that's one of the best things about fandoms. Creativity. That and unity. Now, being in a fandom, these are things that you tend to notice and you pick up on. However, there are also other things that you tend to notice. For every fandom, there's always, as they say, a dark side. There's always people that will take things to a whole new level of weirdness. Case in point, pornography. It's completely inevitable to whatever fandom you join. It's practically an elephant in the room scenario. I can't necessarily say that it's a horrible thing with them fandoms, but it tends to be a bit uncomfortable. I mean, I just don't really get why people want to see porn of their favorite characters. I guess some people grow an attraction to them, and it, it, it's fine if you do and whatever, but I don't know. I mean, as long as you don't take it to the point where it's just weird. And I mean weird as in you have a body pillow of your character and you take it on dates kind of weird. I mean, I'm sorry, okay, but l just why? Hey, now, now look, you can own a body pillow all you want. That's fine. I'm not one to judge people, but just don't take it out on dates. Just no. Now, to be honest with you, I don't think porn is the worst things about fandoms. No, no. The worst things about fandoms are how insane people can be. I mean, ugh, I can't mention this situation enough, but you all know about the Steven Universe fandom and how a lot of them practically told an artist to kill herself because she drew Rose Quartz a bit thinner than usual. It can get that bad. There are people who will defend a show to the death. Like, if you happen to speak out your displeasure of a genre or a movie or a show, people of that certain fandom will just flat out attack you. I mean, it's completely ridiculous. Oh, and don't even get me started on how some fandoms are actually fighting against each other. Like, bronies versus furries. They kind of hate each other. Why? I don't know. I, I, I personally don't understand the feud between each other. Especially considering the fact that some people are both furries and bronies. Let's face it, they're both weird fandoms, and they kind of go through the same issues, with bronies being much worse. They should just get along, and this is coming from someone who kind of was a brony for only one month, couldn't stand it, and someone who is kind of in the furry fandom but doesn't really consider himself a furry. I mean, I don't really get obsessive over that kind of stuff, or for anything for that matter. Oh, speaking of which, in every fandom there are bound to be people that are just a little too obsessive, to the point where it's a big problem. Now let me clarify one thing though, 
it's generally a spectrum when it comes to individuals. It ranges from being a casual fan, which is where I'm at, to someone who is more involved with the fandom, creating art and so forth, and then there's the overly obsessive fan, to the point where you're so obsessed it's considered unhealthy. Now here's the thing, it's completely cool to be passionate about something you love, but sometimes you can be a bit too passionate. There are times when an outsider who may like a certain genre or would like to get into it gets driven away by the actions of a fandom. That's what happened to me with My Little Pony. I used to watch the show so much, but recently the bronies have just been ruining it for me. The way they act, the things they do, the things they say, and the stuff that they constantly complain about. I just can't seem to enjoy the show anymore, especially when almost every time I see an episode, I instantly think about what they're going to turn into a meme or what situation they're going to happen to make sexual within an episode. Because it happens so often and it gets annoying. Kind of the same with the Steven Universe fans. With how the fans complain to the creators about something they don't like, while also harassing them, and again, harassing an artist to the point where she almost killed herself, it's been pulling me away from the show recently. These are examples of experiences just being ruined, and when an outsider happens to see behaviors from fans like this, it generally changes their opinions on a certain genre. I think that's the biggest problem when it comes to certain fandoms. It's sad when sometimes a huge fan base happens to do more harm than good, and it just shouldn't be that way. Now trust me, there are lots of other things that I can complain about when it comes to fandoms, but if there's anything that I can't do, I can't hate them entirely. Though it may seem that a lot of fans can ruin everything, there are even more fans out there that bring a certain amount of joy to the community. They bring a sense of unity to one another. Fandoms are a place where you can just be yourself, and I think that's the most important thing. It's great to be in a community where you all have the same interests and you can relate to one another. Fandoms are a great place to express yourself, showcase your passion, your creativity, your dedication, and a great way to meet new friends and to just have fun. And those are my thoughts on fandoms. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and please hit the bell for notifications. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Hope you guys had a good day. Peace out.